Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Iris Shaders and I'm going to show you how to download and install Iris Shaders for Minecraft Java Edition. I am running the latest release which is 1.17.1 .1. and for those of you who don't know, Iris Shaders is a shader mod for Minecraft Java Edition. It's similar to Optifine and it basically allows you to download and install shaders onto your Minecraft game. And as you can see, I am running the Minecraft Java game with a shader pack installed. And everything just looks super cool. As you can see, we've got some nice skyboxes there. We've got shadows. We've got the sun that has changed as well. I am actually running the Silders shader version 1.29. And if we just go back, we can see that the menu for Iris shaders as well is different. You can see we've got a general quality advanced and then shader packs here. I've also gone ahead and put everything to the maximum. As you can see, I put the view distance to 32 chunks, everything on fancy, put all the sliders to the maximum. And the good thing is that Iris shaders actually comes with sodium as well. So when you install Iris shaders, it will say Iris and Sodium. And the Sodium mod basically improves the performance in Minecraft. So you get better frame rates. If you see on the top left there, I am getting between 70 to 90 FPS. Now, if I was running this on Optifine, I wouldn't get that many frames per second. I would get close to 30 to 40 FPS. It almost doubles your FPS when you play with Iris shaders alongside the Sodium mod. Another cool thing about the Iris shaders is that we can go to options, click on video settings, go to shader packs, and we can actually see in the background what the scene will look like with the new shader. So right now it's showing me Silda's vibrant shaders. If I was to click on BSL and click on apply, we can see that it will change it. So as you guys can see, the color palette has changed and everything looks different. Now, if I go to another one like Seuss Renewed, again, that looks different as well. So it's really cool. We could actually change our shaders here and we could actually see the shaders change in the background. Now, another interesting thing about the Iris shaders is that it's only been active for close to eight months now. The creators of Iris shaders have done a really good job to bring this to the latest release. And it's really cool because when we do get an upgrade for Minecraft Java Edition, we can be sure that Iris shaders would be one of the first shader mods that we can start using because with Optified we did have to wait a few weeks for that to get released for the latest version. So in terms of the actual updates for Iris shaders, it is quite up to date and the team is working really hard to work out all the bug fixes. In the current releases you may experience a few crashes and a few compatibility issues with the older shader packs so just bear that in mind. Okay, so I'm now going to show you guys how to download and install Iris shaders alongside the Sodium mod for your Minecraft Java Edition version 1.17.1. Okay, so the first thing we need to make sure is that we've got the latest version of Java installed because we do need Java to get the iris shaders installer working because without java you're going to have such a tough time to get the installer to work so if we go to our internet browser just start typing in java jdk and then 16 because that is the latest version we've got at the moment so if we click on this link which is the oracle.com link and scroll down and i will leave all the links in the description below so you guys don't have to go around searching for these and if we click on the Windows X64 installer, because I am running Windows, let's download this file. All right, so as you guys can see, the JDK version 16 file is finished downloading. So we can close this down. The next thing we need to download is the actual Iris Shaders mod. So if you start typing in Iris Shaders, and if we go to the link, which is irisshaders.net, and it's this website, it's the main website for the Iris Shaders mod. And if you click on download now, click on download universal jar, and this will download the latest version of Iris Shaders. Let's click on keep, and let's wait for that to finish downloading and scanning. Okay, so as you can see, it's finished the scanning and downloading. 
So I am going to download another shader pack. So this one's going to be the Prismarine shader pack. So let's go to the Bits Lab Lab BSL shaders main website and then click on the edits and extras. And obviously I will leave a link in the description for this. Click on Prismarine and then we can download this shader pack as well. And let's wait for that to finish downloading. All right, so the Prismarine shaders is now finished downloading. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put all of these files on my desktop and I'm going to show you how to install Iris shaders, how to install Java and then how to install the Prismarine shader pack and get everything running in your Minecraft Java game version 1.17.1. Alright, so as you can see, I've put the files on my desktop. So the first thing we're going to obviously do is to install Java. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so as you guys can see, it says this software has already been installed on your system. Would you like to reinstall it? So I'm going to click on yes, because I have already installed it. But in case you guys have not, you would obviously get a different message. But just click on yes and continue to install it. Let's wait for that to finish installing. All right, so as you guys can see, it says it's successfully installed. So I'll click on close. You can move this out of the way. Now, the next file we need to install is the Iris installer. Now, because we've now installed the Java, we can now easily install the Iris installer. And the reason for that is if we right click on this file, we can go to open with and then we can select Java platform SE binary. And this will basically open up the installer. And you just have to wait for that to open up. And if you guys do come across any problems, opening this jar file using Java, just post a message in the comment section below and I will try and help you out to get this file working. But as I showed you, just right click on the file, click on open with, select Java and then it should open up this Iris installer. Obviously for the addition, it will say Iris and Sodium. So it's really cool because it already includes Sodium with the Iris shaders. For the game version, we can go ahead and select the latest version. So as I mentioned earlier, Iris shaders are pretty much up to date with the current releases. And now you've got two options here. So if you don't want to install any mods, you don't want anything to do with mods, you can leave this box ticked. But later down the line, if you do want to install mods and use fabric and basically have mods and shaders running at the same time, you can untick this. So I'm going to untick this and I'm going to show you how it works. So click on install. You will get a message that says an existing mods folder was found. And this is because I have used mods previously with my Minecraft version. If you haven't used mods before, you may not get this message. But if you do, just click on yes. Do you want to update and install Iris? Click on yes. And there we go. So now you can see it says installation succeeded. And we can close this down. Let's move this out of the way. Now let's open up our Minecraft launcher. All right. So the first thing you'll notice is that in the drop down, it will say fabric loader and you should see a new entry now if you did tick that box which i showed you earlier it would say iris and sodium so now that it says fabric it's really cool because we can actually now keep iris shaders and sodium and we can basically install new mods for fabric and run the mods and the shaders at the same time so if we go to installations you can see i've got fabric loader here for version 1.17.1 if we click on this folder icon it should open up your minecraft directory Let's minimize that. Now in this directory, you should have a folder that says shader packs. If you don't have this folder, just right click anywhere here, click on new, click on folder, and then rename it to shader packs. So it looks like this basically. Go into that folder. You can see I've got other shaders in this folder. And what I'm going to now do is move the Prismarine shader zip file into this folder. So I'm just going to drag it like this. And there we go. So your shader packs folder should pretty much look like this, where it's got all the zip files in this folder. Let's close this down. Let's go back to the installer. Now, if we just highlight the fabric loader, we can click on the play button here, or we can go to the play section, making sure fabric loader is selected in the drop down. Click on play and then wait for that to load up the game. All right, so as you guys can see, the game is now loaded and I have got some mods installed as well. So if I click on mods, uh, you can see I've got a fabric API. Obviously, we've got the Iris client there. We've got mod menu and we've got Sodium. Now, if I click on options, go to video setting, click on shader packs. Now we can select the new shader pack that we installed, which is Prismarine. So click on Prismarine shader zip file and then click on apply, done. And then click on close. 
Now we can actually go back into our game and it should basically load the game with the new shader file. There we go. And as you guys can see, we now have the Prismarine shaders and it's running the game. Obviously, we've got a different sky. As you guys can see, this is another cool shader pack that's based on the BSL shaders, which I do quite like. So yeah, this is how we can use iris shaders alongside sodium and fabric and get everything up and running. If you guys found this video useful, please do give us a like. If you have any comments or queries about using iris shaders or how to install it and how it works, please do leave it in the comment section below. Obviously, please do subscribe to this channel to help support to help it grow. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.